Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. Today I went out looking for some inspiration. You know, we should do this regularly just to get those artistic brain cells working. I went down to Fintorn and I had an idea in my head of something I might do in the future, but I didn't want to bother anybody else with it, so I put myself in the photograph. I was the kind of free model, uh, so I could see whether the idea would work, what it would look like. So I took some photographs, and while I was there, I decided to film a tip for you about how you can carry around your own grey card all the time. Let's get to it. I'm here at Findhorn Beach and I've come to photograph something a little bit different for me. Um, I fancied photographing this beach grass as a little bit of a breeze today and I wanted to get that movement of the grass captured on the film. And I also thought I might put myself in the photograph just to see what it might look like. Now we all know I am not the model of the year but having um, somebody in your photograph is often much more engaging than a photograph without anybody in it and it also will give me ideas on whether or not I could bring my wife for instance or a model uh, to this area to get some photographs so it's playing around it's it's trying to encourage my artistic side to come out and think of something a little bit different now I wanted to also show you uh, a little tip about um, getting the exposure right. So I brought my meter along and I'm going to now just quickly demonstrate something which might be very useful to you uh, to know. So uh, let's catch up with that right now. I brought with me today my grey card and I want to demonstrate that we actually carry a grey card around with us all the time. Now of course I'm not talking about this. This grey card is too bulky. I would trash it in five minutes if I was running around the countryside with this in my bag. But what I do carry around all the time is my hand. And so I'm going to measure the grey card. And I get a 60th at 11.7. And now my hand. And I get a 125th at 11.5. Close enough for government work. That's one stop difference. My hand is reflecting one stop more light than the grey card. If the grey card is zone 5, then my hand is zone 6, and I've always got my hand with me. So if I ever take a meter reading of my hand in any condition, I know to open the camera one stop from that reading, and I've got an accurate meter reading, an accurate setting for the camera. Now, I encourage you to do this yourselves. If you haven't got a grey card, then go to some green grass. You know, the regular type of green grass that you get on a playing field or uh, beside the sidewalk. And me to read that and then read your hand. Because green grass is pretty much zone five. And so it'll be accurate enough and you'll know your hand and you'll know the reflectance of your hand. Now it doesn't matter what color you are, you'll still get a reading and that reading is one that you will know the difference between the grey card zone 5 and whatever your hand reflects. Remember that because it's with you all the time and you can use it for setting up your camera. Let's get back to this photograph. I processed the negatives and scanned them in and this is one of the shots so you can see the idea of what I was after. So. I love this mottled look. There's a real mottled look to this grass in black and white. And the way it goes so light colored where it waves in the wind. So I think I've captured that part that I wanted. And there's the path moving in here to draw the eye in. That might be mm, not really uh, as effective as I thought. And then there's the model um, there. And looking at this, I'm quite pleased. It's quite good. It's sort of what I want. Now, I didn't have any real sunshine. It was a watery sunshine. So there's not as much contrast as I would have liked. But it's giving me a plan. It's giving me an idea of what I can do um, if I take Lisa down and um, we could do some photographs in this area. I quite like it this mottled effect, I think it's lovely, around the subject. 
So um, where the rubber hits the road is when we make a print. So I'm going to make a print of this now and show you it. Um, but before I do that, just to remind you, this is fun. This is the kind of thing you might want to do. Go out, go somewhere new, try out an idea. And it doesn't have to be a complete finished idea. This was a half baked idea that I had that I would thought I'd try. And then I can go back and finish the idea off. Now I know what it looks like. It gives me a better idea of what I'm after. So I encourage you to go out and have a go at doing this. Let's cut to the chase and have a look at the print. The prints have been in the wash for a little while. Let's take them out and just have a look. So here is one of them. And I think you can see that mottled look quite well in this one. Um, it's really nice, actually. The shadows in amongst the clumps of this beach grass really do make it stand out in the most awesome way. And especially I noticed when the wind is blowing because it makes these tops really light colored. So that isn't a bad print. I'm quite pleased with the contrast. Although I had to print it at grade three and a half, which is higher than I would have liked. So I expect I need to add a little bit to my development time to punch up the contrast a bit. So do you remember our 25% rule? So if I want to move that from three and a half to two and a half, I'll add around 25% to the development time. And now I did a lighter colored print as well. Let's see if I can pull that one out. I think it's this one actually here. Yeah, so this is a lighter, lighter one to see if I preferred that. And I'm not sure actually which one I like, maybe something in between. <laughs> you know that feeling when you've printed them and you think, oh, I could have done it right in between those two. But all in all, I think the left hand one is better. I like the more contrast in that. Um, it's, it's a better print. I hope you've enjoyed today and thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, maybe become a patron and support what I'm doing here, passing on this knowledge as best I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Friday for another tip.